All right, so now let's uh, go ahead and get this front suspension on here. Got uh, the parts we'll need for that laid out. You'll need your um, 80 millimeter shocks, and then these parts here. So let's uh, jump right into it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a good idea to um, pre-start these back screws. They uh, they have to be done before the front ones, since you use that um, front. Yeah, your wrench has to go through the front connection area. Okay, like so, and then we're going to go ahead, we can start with our top. This is our top, the arched part goes towards the back of the sled. So we get it in place and then we'll run that. And you'll want to run this down so that the screw is contacting both quite well, but you don't want to, once you feel it start to have tension so that it might start to squeeze, then you stop because you, again, we don't need that to squeeze. And go ahead and set our bottom one then in place also. There we go. Okay, and then we can just run our front one's in. All right. And then we can take one of our shocks and we will feed it through. And we just need to kind of press that into place there. Okay, and then once we've got that in position, we'll just bring this lower A arm into position. You might need to compress your shock a little bit and then you just need to get that to slide into place there. There we go. So then once you get that to pop into place, go ahead and run your screw into it. That should be working like that. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and we will add our knuckle here and uh, the so this is your steering arm right here that's going to connect to the servo and it's going to point towards the back. Now on this I like to use uh, countersunk screws for, for this part here. It just makes it so I can get that screw a little bit tighter in there. But you're welcome to also just use the same type button head that we've been using, you'll just need to leave it a little bit higher so that you can still get that pivot out of it. Alright, so we're going to just, from here we'll go down in, and then into that top. Oh, excuse me, I almost did that backwards. you got to do the bottom first, um, just like on the arms you need to do the back first. Here you need to do the bottom first because you need to feed it through, feed your wrench through this top hole to make sure that that screw goes through in the correct direction because this needs to be, this pivot point needs to line up straight and you want to make sure that screw goes through straight. There we are. So that's the bottom one in. Just make sure that it uh, move around it's got plenty of freedom it'll loosen up some too once you start um, driving the sled 
as it kind of works the way it wants in that plastic there, but it should have a fair bit of movement. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the top one to it. There we go, again leaving room, making sure that it'll still be able to steer. And then now you can test the travel of your suspension there. All right, so that's it. Now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna copy it over here to the other side. Alright, and there we have it. The front suspension all put together and working. Now that we've got our front suspension on, we can go ahead and grab our skis. And they're as simple as just kind of pushing that into place. And then we'll just run a screw through that. And then you can take these pieces here and they should just kind of snap into place <clears throat> there and then we'll just run some screws through that as well. All right, now that we've got our front skis on there and suspension all set up, I think it's time to go ahead and put our servo together. Uh, so this is just a standard, um, I think it's 35 gram servo. I found a four pack for like $11 on Amazon, so I went with that. Um, these are metal geared servos. I do prefer those. They just seem to last a little bit better. All right, you'll need a control horn like this. Um, if your pack doesn't come with one um, that's only one-sided, you can just cut off a side, which is what I've done on this one. You'll want to make sure that your servo's been centered. The way I did that was just plugged it into my receiver and powered it on. It automatically centers, and now that it's unplugged, I know that the servo is centered. So we're gonna take our little servo horn and then this little piece that you will have printed and then we're going to oh you may also need to um, drill out a bigger hole on your servo horn so that M3 screw will fit through but then we're gonna take this little piece here and it's gonna get attached to that the end of that servo horn There we go. Now this this one can be tight. It doesn't actually need to rotate, but the lower screw, um, you'll see in a second, does need to. So now that we've got our that piece on there, <clears throat> we can go ahead and put our servo horn onto the servo, and we want it facing 
like that so that it's it's facing the uh, the length of the servo not so not away from the body of the servo like so go ahead and put that screw into that All right, so with that on there, we can now place the servo in here and that will be with the arm going towards the back of the sled. There we are. Okay, so then we'll take our little steering rods and they're gonna come together like this inside there. And uh, this part can be a little tricky, but just uh, be patient. There we go, I got it to start. It just takes a little patience to get it to line up. And then this screw doesn't need to be tight. Um, you just want to make sure you get enough threads in there that it's going to hold those steering rods on, but they still need to be able to pivot. And then with that, so I went through this, as you can see, through that slot there to get that in. And then we're just going to attach these to there. Now, obviously, there's... Uh, better ways of, of doing all this and, and much more technical ways and and probably cleaner ways and I'm sure people will have all their opinions on it but the idea here was to go for simple um, super super simple easy to print all of your pieces and easy to put it all together I know the geometry might might not be perfect and all that but it works really well and uh, it's a lot of fun and that's that's my main goal is is uh, that we have a lot of fun. Alright, so there we are. It's a little squeaky, but it'll loosen up. But uh, that's our whole front suspension and steering all set up and uh, ready to go.